Hey, what's up everybody, Rich Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys around this brand new travel case from Anapro. It's got a bunch of really cool features on here. Seems to be super durable, so I'm gonna unbox this with you guys today. We're gonna take a closer look at what this has to offer. Let's dive into it. All right, so here we have our Anapro travel case. I'm going to unbox this with you guys. So right off the bat, seems really durable. It's definitely a thick travel case here. Um, just squeezing this it really doesn't have much give, especially on the four corners. That's where you want to protect your steam deck the most, because if you were to drop this, it's likely going to drop like that. Those are super, super durable there. I'm squeezing this as hard as I actually can. It's not giving in at all. Very solid here. Um, not that you want to beat on this, but just for testing purposes here, it doesn't seem like I'm protruding into this at all, which is awesome. Uh, again, especially the hardest part of this is gonna be those four corners and the side and bottom. So definitely really, really, really durable there. We've got this little carrying strap here. You can loop it around your wrist if you want to, carry it just like this, just a little added support there. But let's open this up. Let's see what this has to offer. So we've got two zippers, one here, one here. It goes all the way around. And let's see what we've got inside. Really nice. I love the way that this is indented so it fits perfectly. You're not going to be compressing anything or kind of forcing your Steam Deck in. It seems to be sculpted really nicely to fit in there. You know exactly how it would fit in. We've got some flaps right here. Let's see what this is all about. So this looks like just some pretty durable uh, protective piece there. Here we have a couple spots where we could store some stuff. Um, they're pretty small, but you know what? I have a, let me find it, micro SD card. And I always have these in these protective cases anytime I store them, just even if I have them just sitting here, you know, on my desk like that. They're always in one of these. So let's see if this fits. It looks like it's going to. This is a little bit bigger, you can see, than some of the other ones out there. But let's see if we can slide that in here. Oh, perfect. Fits perfectly. What I like too is that you can actually still read, at least with this particular case that I have, still read the card. So if you have different setups for your Steam Deck, like this one is a Botticera build I've been working on, a 256 gigabyte. I have a 1TB. I like to switch between the two because we are limited with the capacity for the Steam Deck. So I use different cards with different games and collections on them. Um, I'd be able to just kind of scan through here and say, all right, I want the 256 or the 1TB or 512, whatever I want to choose from. Everything would be laid out nicely. And then we have that flap over the top that just adds another layer of security there. So that's really convenient. Let's flip that up. And it looks like, just looking at this, let me grab my Steam Deck. Looks like it would sit right there. This would flip up, that would flip down. This should go over the top. You can see where the analog sticks line up perfectly. And then we should be able to just zip this up. Perfect. You can see I'm not forcing anything into place. Uh, everything is just exactly laid out exactly as it's supposed to here. And again, super durable, especially those four corners. That's where you want the most um, durability because again, that's how it would drop if you were to drop this. All right, guys, you can see firsthand exactly what this Anapro travel case for the Steam Deck has to offer. Everything has been detailed and sculpted to fit the Steam Deck perfectly. You don't have to jump on top of this and try to sandwich everything together to get the zipper to shut. Everything just fits in there perfectly. We have those added little layers for extra durability and protection. We have those slots for micro SD cards or whatever you want to put in there. If you have USB receivers for a mouse, a keyboard, a controller, anything like that, those can get slid right in there for storage. For me, it's going to be the micro SD cards though, because I have a bunch of micro SD cards for the Steam Deck. I use a bunch of different builds with different collections uh, and games on there. So to be able to put all those in there and just kind of scan across and decide, okay, I want the 256 or the 512 or the 1 TB, whatever the case may be, just gives you that layer of uh, security for storing it, but also the ability to be organized and just be able to pick and choose exactly what you want to plug into your Steam Deck to start gaming on. So love this durability though, is the most important part. Again, you can see really trying to squeeze this as best I can. It goes in ever so slightly, but on the edges there, that's where it's really the hardest. It's the firmest. Uh, it's definitely going to protect your Steam Deck. The Steam Deck is not cheap by any means. It's got some weight to it. Not the smallest, most compact 
handheld out there, which means that if you drop that from two, three feet up, you're likely going to have some damage. So you definitely want to get a travel case that is durable like this is and for the price i think it's an absolute home run so i'm going to put some links in the description of this video i'll also try to put one up on the screen for you guys that one doesn't last quite as long though so always go down to the description click over get some more information on this it's a must have if you're ever going to be traveling with your steam deck throw it in a backpack carry on even a checked bag inside of this i'm confident that you won't have any issues with your steam deck getting damaged as long as it's installed within this. So you guys know the drill though. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on the video. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube. Of course, hit the subscribe button as well to stay up to date on all future videos here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for the support. I'll see you on the next video.